Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create custom skins using Nova Skin. Let's begin. So to get started, head on over to Google and type in Nova Skin, and follow the links to their website, which is minecraft.novaskin.me, or alternatively, click the link in the description of this video. Once you're in, this is what you'll see. The basic start is the the, the classic Steve skin, but I mean you don't need to start with that. You can you can search for something. You can search for a player name. You can search for uh, as you see here. We can we can type in um, creeper for example and uh, load up various skins of creepers. So we can then just if we wanted one, we could just click on that and say creeper and then don't. There we go. That's a skin. Or if you want to, you could type in a player name. So if you do at and then the full name, Sir Geeky Gamer, for example, uh, and then wait for it. It will then load up slowly. There we go, and that's found my skin. So I can click on that, and uh, there we go. Now we've got my skin. So it's easy enough to start off with. You don't need to do that. If you want to start off with nothing, then you, you, you can just have a, a basic skin. Now, there's lots of things you can do here. There are layers. Uh, if you look at the top right, you can see layers. We can add a layer. We can take away a layer. If I take away a layer, then I've got a basic skin. I'm, I'm just starting with nothing. Uh, if I want to, obviously, get my guy back i i just load the skin back that's fine i can add extra layers and we can do all sorts of stuff with that and of course you can remove the layers just as easily by clicking the minus button here now let's say we want to make a change to our skin there is a, there's a few things we can do there's lots and lots of options but we'll go through bit by bit and um, layers are going to be important they might seem complicated to begin with but trust me they do make sense once you get your head around it so if you're not sure which layer you're currently working on look for the orange border around it uh, if i click that you can see the border moves and it's back there so that's the layers we'll come back to that if we look at the um, the cursor now, as you can see at the moment, whilst I'm hovering over my body, I've got the red pencil. If I click on that, that's basically what I'm drawing, which is useful. But if I come off there, I've got a little hand, and I can use that to, if I click and hold the area around my body, I can drag and, and just see different angles, which is really useful because the skin is three-dimensional and you need to see it from all angles. If you just try to do that whilst you're over here, you, you're just going to make a mess, and no one, no one wants a mess. So let's just... Get rid of those with the undo button here. Uh, we have been using red, as you can see. We've got a pencil button down here, and you can pick your color from there. You just uh, pick uh, any color you want, and I'll, I'll stick with red. Why not? We have talked about layers. Now, these layers are one thing. If I just take this off just for a second, just to save confusion, just minimize that, get rid of it altogether. Uh, the skin itself has multiple layers, so let's try not to be confused with that. If you look at this, I can. You could, well, you could see see my skin. Uh, down here, we have various different components. You've got the head, you've got the torso, the arms, the legs, etc. These are all toggleable. You can turn them on and off as you see fit. Now, at the moment, they are all on. And if you just watch the head now, I'll just click on that, and that will take the outer layer of my head away. So no layers up here. It's just the actual skin. I will take the outer layer away, and that's the base layer of my skin. That's just what it looks like. If I click it again, the head's gone. But don't, don't worry. It can come back. It's not, it's not gone forever. It's just got rid of it so that we, we, we get it out of the way while we're working on something else. So let's say I wanted to colour in my shirt. The white pits of my shirt, we want to make red. If we're going to do that, we need to, we need to make sure we don't make a mistake here. So let's put another layer back on because we don't want to be drawing on the actual layer. We want to be drawing on this one uh, and that will become clear later on. Uh, but we want to clear some stuff. We want to get rid of the white. So let's get rid of the head. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the legs. And then let's get rid of the outer layer of the swell. So the left arm, the torso, and the right arm. So now we're just left with the, the base layer of the skin. We've got red, so we can just as easily go and start clicking on there. If we just click once, then it just drops it in and so so on. If we press and hold, it will do a line. That's fairly straightforward. I think you can probably all figure that out. But there are other options. So we have here a gradient tool. Now, what this is doing is actually there's, an, there's another pencil here, and it's take, making a gradient between the two. So if we were just to do it as it is, just click on that and just do like that, we've got it from red to green. We obviously don't want green because we want a nice uh, another shade of red so we can then select that color there perfect i think that's a good mix uh, but then we need to make sure we click back on this gradient button here because otherwise we're just using that pencil so as you can see that's just the one color so we click on that we can then do a, a nice happy gradient and it's not that noticeable let's uh, but that's that's it that's the intention uh, but I, I think we'll, we'll we'll make it a little bit more noticeable there we go. So we've got slightly dark at the bottom, slightly lighter at the top, and you can do that the opposite direction and go like that. And it can be we can work. It can be used to work quite well. Now we have other options. We can do this with a rectangle. So it's the same thing where we're taking that color and that color. So we could just make that a, a nice red there, and that there makes a, a nice pretty rectangle like that. So 
saves a lot of time if you're doing a certain area. And the same for this, this makes a lips or a circle, and you know, like that. We're, we're not going to keep that. Um, and that's just using these two colors. So let's say we just want to do this. Let's just um, let's just tweak a few of these up, and we'll just go in different directions just to sort of randomize it a little bit. And uh, that looks alright, but that's just the base part of the shirt. We also need to do the arms, so let's just come round there, and then do the same over here, and that, and uh, yeah, perfect. But obviously, as I said before, it's three-dimensional. We have to spin around, we have to check the back, like that, and then that one. So that is now all of the shirt done, but not quite. Because as we said before, we need to make sure we take away the extra bits. So if we just take the arms off for a second, you can see... Oh, well, there's no white there, so that doesn't that's fine. But we need to check the inside of the arms. Let's make sure we're not on the outer layer. So take the outer layer off. And there we go. There is some white left there. We, we would have missed that, and we would look rather silly when we load up our next Minecraft world. So let's colour that in and do the same over here. There we go. So that's it. And then we can add everything back on, like that. Now that... If you don't mind me saying, looks pretty cool. But here's where the layers come in because we made this change. We might not be happy with it. Who knows? And you know that that maybe we didn't know what we had before, and it's hard to get back. But if you click on this little tick here, we can take this layer off again. So we're actually back to exactly where we started. We haven't lost anything. This is this is this is why layers are perfect. Because you want to do that, and you could try it. Let's say you want to try it with red, but you also want to try a, a black and a blue and a yellow, and you can have all the different layers, and you can toggle them on and off depending on what you want, and you can you can cycle through to see which ones are best. So we're, we're just going to get rid of these layers because because then <laughs> they're useless. But this one, let's say we're happy, we, we want to keep that. We then click this button here, and what this does is combines a selected layer with a layer layer above it so that's that uh, this layer and that's the layer above so if we click on that that is now set we can't we can't get rid of that that's that's in that's that's official that's that's all there so what we've got here is a flood fill now this is useful so it's it can save you a lot of time if you've got all the same color uh now let's just change that color to something nice and bright uh, and if we then just sort of click there that changes everything of that color or close enough to the same color now i I don't want that, but this can be useful if you wanted to, let's say, change my trousers up, for example. So if I was to take that outer layer off and uh, do that, it can just it, it saves you a lot of time doing that. Um, we're gonna undo because we don't want that. Uh, that's that's good. So that's that. We have an eraser tool here. So what this does, it doesn't actually take. It's not like a, an undo button. This actually erases forever. So again, let's just take that off. Uh, if we were to do that, it would just actually remove everything. So you've just got a plain skin. And um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to keep that. The next thing we've got is the uh, the color picker. So say you wanted a specific color, but you didn't know the exactly what it was. Uh, so let's just uh, click on that, and then we want uh, we want to click on the the picker, and let's take a blue. So that's changed this to this one here to blue, and it's the exact sh shade of blue that we wanted. So that saves a lot of time. So let's just say you've done all that, you're happy with what you got, but you think, do you know what? This skin needs something extra. Maybe a pair of sunglasses, I don't know. Come up here to where. If you click on that, uh, there's actually a button here. You can type anything in. So let's try glasses. Uh, this brings up a whole bunch of different things. Uh, glasses, for example, sunglasses, we've got some 3D glasses, we've got broken glasses. Uh, got a few things to choose from. Uh, if you click on that, you've got the option uh, what, load, add to base or overlay. If you click on add to base, what that does is it creates another layer up here and some cool sunglasses. And they're there. Now, you can take these off like that, no, no problem. Or you can decide to actually keep them. So you can just add these, you can combine the layers together as we did before. So now... I've got a pair of sunglasses. I don't even have to make them. That's just that's just done. Uh, but you know, maybe we want some more. Maybe we want uh, a backpack. So let's uh, let's come up here and uh, let's go to backpack. Here we go. We've got one there. Let's click on overlay and Bosch. There we go. We've got a nice backpack and it's even got straps on the front. How cool is that? And there's so many cool things you can do. With this uh, you just use your imagination. There's I mean there's a varsity jacket there. For example, there's some hair. Uh, if you think of it, it's probably gonna be in there. But these are some really cool things. And you, like I say, you just do it. And if you're not sure, it's like, oh, I don't, do I want the backpack? Does the backpack suit me? I don't know. You can take it off, you can keep it on, you can combine them together like that. We're now, we've now officially got a backpack. That is done. That is done. We've got a cool guy. We are looking super, super cool. And once you're happy with all that, it's just a case of clicking up here, the save button. 
and that then gives you uh, gives you this. You've got a nice 2D image of it and your 3D image. You need to give it a name. You need to give it a description. I mean, to be honest, I'm just going to call it um, Cool Geeky. And description, why not the same? Cool Geeky. Click Save. Bosh, that's done. We can download that. That's put it down the bottom here. And it's a case of heading over to Minecraft. So once you're in Minecraft, click up here on skins. It will take you through to all your different skins. So there's a whole bunch I've got. You might just have Alex and Steve. Um, otherwise, you might have loads. Click on new skin, click browse, and you'll be able to select a skin. Now, these will probably be saved to your downloads folder. I move mine out of the way because, you know, I, I, I like to think, be organized. Uh, but they'll be in your download folder. That's where you look for them. So I need to find Cool Geeky. There it is. Uh, click open. And there, there's my guy. He, he exists. Now, we can give him a name. Uh, so we might as well call him Cool Geeky. And it gives you two options. So you've got Classic, which is just the, the classic skin. Or you've got Slim, which is uh, thinner arms. It does some weird things sometimes. We're not going to go for thin. We're going to go for the Classic because Classic is cool. And you've got option Save or Save and Use. Save it just basically creates it and keeps your existing skin. Save and Use means that you can actually save it and it is your new skin we'll do that excellent there we go done and next time you load at minecraft you'll find yourself wearing your nice new cool skin look at that with the shades and the backpack i'm super cool but unfortunately that's all we got time for today so if you enjoyed the video if you learned something don't forget to like comment subscribe and share do all that sort of stuff but as always i've been Gamer. you've been awesome and thanks for watching goodbye